We've all seen these incredibly heartwarming videos over the past few years of soldiers surprising their families after they've returned home from overseas. Soldiers are also being reunited with the dogs who work with them in extremely dangerous conditions. I recently was able to meet Corporal Matt Foster of the United States Marine Corps and his military dog, Sergeant Mick, and what an honor it was. What he does is he goes out in front of patrols, foot patrols for infantry, and he essentially searches roadways, vehicles, buildings, um, anywhere that we are potentially going to enter or walk over, and uh, basically sweeps the area for bombs. So he knows uh, how to sniff out for uh, the chemical compounds for anything that they would use as an explosive against us. It was important for Matt to be reunited with Mick after his duty was done. After all, they had a bond that is so intrinsic it's difficult to describe. And it's not an easy process for veterans to get these dogs back home. But for Corporal Foster, it was necessary to make happen. The relationship is irreplaceable. Um, when you have something as close as uh, a dog that you know brings you a little taste of home when you're over in a place where everybody wants to you know kill you, uh, it brings you a little bit closer than you normally would be with anything else. Um, it, I would do anything for this dog. I would lay down my life for this dog because this dog does that every single day. A big hurdle facing veterans with these dogs is the cost of medical care. Diane Wetzel founded the Sage Foundation for Dogs Who Serve to help pay those costs after she herself had trouble caring for her dog, Sage, who served valiantly. She served at the Pentagon at 9-11. Uh, she served Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Rita, and we spent six months in Iraq searching for missing soldiers. Most of them sniff out ordnance, uh, explosive ordnance. Um, a lot of them are guard. They'll do post work, they'll do perimeters, they'll search vehicles. I don't want to see dogs who have served our country so valiantly have their veterinary care decided upon how much it cost. You would think medical care for these retired military working dogs would be the least we could do, but that coverage is not provided by the military, so we need organizations like the SAGE Foundation. We help pay for medical care for military, police, and search and rescue dogs. So our partnership with uh, Rimadil in Zoetis is just absolutely thrilling because we're going to be able to do even more than we have done in the past. To find out more about how you can help, visit sagefoundationfordogs.org. I'm Steve Dale.